Good morning, saints of God, in the name of Jesus Christ. This is Apostle Charles Edoze, and I am so glad to come your way again this morning. I hope you are fine. I want to believe that you slept well and um, no bad dreams, if there are bad dreams, actually. You know you can reach out for an interpretation to your dreams, and I'm going to tell you exactly what God is saying to you through your dreams, whether good or bad. Okay, so this morning, I want us to pray concerning our expectations. Do you have an expectation? Do you have an expectation? Um, it can be very hard breaking, heart breaking and saddening to not have your expectation. Uh, maybe you're watching this, you have been waiting for a long time for something to come through. You have been waiting for a long time for that expectation to be met and yet it has not been met and you are worried, you are disturbed, you've cried a river this morning, I want to pray with you, for I know that God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask nor think. Maybe you are expecting a breakthrough um, in the area of job and it hasn't come yet. Uh, you are expecting a breakthrough in the area of relationship it hasn't come yet. You are expecting a breakthrough in the area of finance and it hasn't come yet. You are expecting a breakthrough in the, in the, in the area of, uh, of childbearing and it hasn't come through. I want to tell you that um, God is about to do something in your life. God is about to, to do something about your expectation today. And that is why he has led me to come online this morning to pray with you. Are you with me? Do you believe that God will meet your expectation do you believe that god can do exceedingly abundantly above all that you may ask not think the word of god says clearly that surely uh, there is an end and the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut off surely there is an end there is an end and the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut off now this is to tell you that you are not gonna be the way you are whatever you find your life uh, like uh, presently will surely come to an end the time of lack will come to an end the time of uh, crying uh, a river at night will definitely come to an end God is simply telling you that it will all come to an end very soon and when it all ends you will have your expectation I can't wait for you to have your expectation I can't wait for you to have what you are trusting God for I can't wait for you to have that breakthrough I can't wait for you to have those answers I can't wait for you to have that blessing in your hand and so this morning i want to join my faith with yours in prayer concerning that expectation so you can testify like others so you can you can sing a new song so you can celebrate as well so you can sing hallelujah hallelujah so you can you can you can dance and uh, organize an occasion, uh, a celebration party, and invite people to come and rejoice with, with you and, uh, and then do a thanksgiving in your church that people may come and uh, celebrate with you and hear your testimony and be encouraged in their own lives, okay? So we're going to pray this morning and I know that this prayer will produce results in your life. I know that this prayer is not in vain. I know that this prayer is going to shift things in the realm of the spirit. This prayer is going to affect every hand that has kept your expectation from you. The word of God says, withhold not good from uh, whom uh, uh, it is due, especially when it is in your power to do so. So anyone who is uh, in position to, 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 
to see that your expectation is granted. God is saying here essentially that the person uh, is going to open his or her hand to release your expectation. What expectation is that? Is it a contract? It shall be granted unto you in the name of Jesus. So it's a new day. And uh, as you are awake today, and as you leave your, your, your home today, uh, if you are in an area, the, the lockdown is, uh, is, uh, is lifted. You have to leave your house today to go uh, up and about, you know, your business to see what you can dig up today. Or maybe you are at home just expecting either a phone call, either uh, something that will improve your life significantly. I want to tell you that this morning, it shall be granted unto you. Today is not going to be like other days. Today is not going to be a wasted day. Today is not going to be a day that will just come and go. Today will never uh, 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 end without you having your expectation. I believe that and I charge you to believe the same with me. Okay, so I need you to pray this prayer with me. Just one prayer point and uh, we'll be on our way. Hallelujah. Lift your voice and pray this prayer. Say, Oh God, my Father, grant my expectation in the name of Jesus. Now, you need to know that you are not the only one praying this prayer uh, today. We are many of us. And as you pray this prayer, we are in agreement with one accord. Our faith is all of us have matched our faith together, which uh, I believe have formed a gigantic faith. All of us are going to receive our expectations individually and collectively. Say this one more time. Grant my expectation, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Say it again. Grant my expectation, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice and pray. Maledesh Kahata. Father, grant my expectation. Grant my expectation. Grant my expectation. In the name of Jesus, I humble myself before you this morning. And I ask, oh God, grant my expectation. See my struggles. See my daily struggles. See my daily fight. Lord, grant my expectation. In the name of Jesus, I have waited for so long. And I keep looking up to you for my help, my help, my help. My help can only come from you. Oh God, I ask in the name of Jesus today, look to my direction. Today, oh God, locate me with my expectation. Somebody pray, Lord, locate me with the long-expected breakthrough. Lord, locate me with that contract. Lord, locate me with my destiny helper. Lord, somebody, you are, you are, you are believing God for a, a, a sponsor. Your expectation is to have a sponsor. Somebody to to fuel uh, or fund your dream, somebody to fund your dream, somebody to carry you through. You are, as your expectation is to have somebody stand by you through the, 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 the journey that you, you recently embarked on. Receive your expectation as you pray. In the name of Jesus, Father, my expectation, my expectation, my expectation in the name of Jesus. You might be expecting growth. Pray this morning, Father, grant my expectation. You might be expecting settlement, 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 any kind of settlement. In the name of Jesus, pray, Father, grant my expectation. In the name of Jesus, grant my expectation. For it is written, the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut short. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for hearing my prayer. Thank you, Father, for hearing my prayer. Thank you, Father, because my expectation, my expectation, my expectation, 
shall be granted in the mighty name of Jesus. I give you the glory and praise. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And this morning I pray for you. I come your way full of anointing and grace to pray for you this morning concerning your expectation. It shall be granted in the name of Jesus. Your expectation shall be granted in the name of Jesus. You shall have what you are praying for in the name of Jesus. You shall have what you have waited so many years for in the name of Jesus Christ. For it is the will of God that you will have what you are praying for. My God shall supply your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. It is on God to make sure that you lack nothing. It is on God that your expectation is granted. Excuse me. It is on God to see that your life, your life goes the next level. In the name of Jesus, receive your expectation. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I command your expectation. I command your expectation to follow you. Receive your expectation. Receive your expectation. Receive your expectation. If you are expecting the fruit of the womb, receive it in the name of Jesus. Whatsoever you are expecting, receive it. Receive it, receive it, receive it in the name of Jesus. So many of you are expecting and praying to have an encounter with God. You're praying to have an encounter with God. You have, you have had many talk of Jesus visiting them and you wish to have that kind of encounter. You wish to have that kind of experience. Hear me, your expectation shall be granted. In the name of Jesus Christ. So many of you watching this, there is something, there is something you are expecting from the Lord before the end of 2020. Hear me, God is not deaf, neither is he important. He's not an important God. He is an omnipotent God. He can do all things. He can do all things. He can produce. God is working. God is working. I tell you emphatically that God is working and he shall work in your favor. He shall work today concerning your expectation. In the name of Jesus, after an interview, what do you expect? You expect to be called and uh, be asked to begin work immediately your expectation shall be granted this is my prayer today and so shall it be in the name of jesus if you believe i charge you to type right there in the comment section and say my expectation shall be granted i i need you to 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 Make it your confession today. My expectation shall be granted. My expectation shall be granted. It's a confession of faith. And let me tell you, confession brings possession. You can't just possess what you don't confess. Through confession, you program certain things in the spirit. Through confession. Through confession. Through repetition of that which you want, which you desire, which you expect, which you have seen with the eyes of your mind. By confessing it continuously, you are programming it in the realm of the spirit and it will eventually materialize. So you say to yourself and type it right there in the comment section, my expectation shall be granted. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. May God bless you for joining me once again this morning. And please, 
please share this that others may also join in the cry for the expectation of their hearts this morning. Uh, this is Chelsea Dozy, and uh, I, I know you slept well. If there is any dream you had that is troubling you, find out what God is saying to you. Dreams can be prophetic. I can show you throughout the Bible where God spoke to people through dreams. Uh, so don't die in silence and don't run from pillar to post looking for who will tell you what God is uh, saying and eventually get robbed. You just need to reach out. Let your dream be interpreted for you that you may know what God is saying concerning you. And uh, you will also receive a prayer. And I tell you, things will never be the same in your life. If you are blessed by this ministry, ensure to join our community of supporters. Facebook has enabled the subscription uh, feature on this page. May God bless you and uh, as you help us to continue doing the work of God. Tomorrow, the 30th of October, Friday, uh, the 30th of October is my birthday. And I encourage you, please pray for me. Keep me in your prayers. Keep me in your prayers concerning my expectation uh, in this uh, year's birthday. The Lord will do for you the same thing you pray for me. Uh, to have in the name of Jesus. I love you with the love of the Lord and may your day be pleasant in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Shalom.